So back in my kitchen with my trusty helper Brella and her famous bucket hat, which yeah. hasn't come off for, well, since the whole of the holidays, I really. it's stuck. <laughs> you have washed your hair though. Yes. <laughs> So this is an absolute family favourite. This is the Rose Petal Granola. My favourite recipe I think that you make. I just love making it because it's so satisfying. Everybody loves it. And this one's going back to uni. So I thought, you know what? We'll make a whole load. We'll film it. And then you can take it with you. Yay! <laughs> and also I can show you how to do it. So you can make it for yourself when you're there because it's really <laughs> easy. Most commercial granolas are so full of sugar and they're so expensive. And actually this is much lower in sugar and it's just got lots of goodness in it and it's just more satisfying to make and it works out a bit cheaper too. So we're gonna start with a base of oats, but before that, we're going to melt some coconut oil. So if you want to put three tablespoons of coconut oil into a saucepan, and then we're going to mix that with a little bit of honey and a little bit of rose water. Is that so, a tablespoon or is that? Yeah, that's about a tablespoon. It's not liquid, so is that? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, if you, if you pull it out, I'll um, okay. scrape it off. I mean, it's not an exact science. This is granola. This is kind of mix it all together. So don't worry if it's not all completely accurate to the, to the nearest mill. You don't need to worry about that. Okay, and then we need to do the same again with honey. Okay. So let's just scrape <clears throat> that into there. And runny honey is easiest, but you can just use, I think we've got some there that's kind of part set. Can you open that? Stiff. Yeah. Well done. Yes. Even with those nails. They do need to come off. I'm a bit concerned because of lockdown. I can't get my nails taken off. Oh no, what are you going to do? Rip them off. No, <laughs> no you can't no, rip I them won't. off. Will you soak them in something? Yeah, I think acetone is the thing. Yeah, just soak them off your nails. Just, and honestly, Use lockdown to let your nails grow. Let's get them a bit of air, because you're not going anywhere. Use mm. that to... Thank you. Yes, you're listening to me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but I feel so pretty when I have my nails you on. You are just gorgeous, okay? But your nails will thank you for a bit of a rest. Yeah, Okay, true. so we're doing three tablespoons of honey, three tablespoons of coconut oil. Easy. Is that a tablespoon, that bit less? Yeah, that'd be fine. Okay. That, that'd be absolutely fine. Um, and then you need to throw in some rose water. Where's the rose water? Oh, there I we love go. rose water. Oh, that's not good. It's such a great thing to have in the cupboard. This is food grade rose water. You can buy it online. Oh, it's so good. So that is just two teaspoons. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to melt that together. This recipe actually comes from the Lizelle Wellbeing Yearbook 2, which is actually out of print, but I'll make sure that we put the full recipe below with a link so you can get to it. But if you've got your yearbook too, then that's where you'll find Quite it. Quite a lot of rose water in there. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> you, you, like, you like the rose, <laughs> like smell. rose water. So do you want to melt that down? Yes. Just so that that makes a liquid, because then what you're going to do is you're going to use that to coat your oats and all the other bits of goodness that's in there. So let me move this out of the way and then we can see. Spooks. So, yeah, yeah you can, uh, yeah, just, just melt it down with that really. Okay. Can see how quickly it melts. Shouldn't take that long, don't let it burn. Okay. Right, then separately, you are going to put into a large mixing bowl the rolled oats, and I've got here uh, 250 grams of rolled oats, and then everything basically gets mixed in the bowl together. How's that doing? Um, it's doing good. Oh, it's doing really good. Yeah, I'm just kind of pressing it. Yeah, in. so the coconut oil's already melted. And the honey. I think if we melted. used set honey, it's taking a bit longer. Yeah, if we'd used runny honey, it would have been a bit quicker, but that's fine. It smells nice. You can really oh, smell the um, the rose water kind of coming up. Now this recipe does actually call for dried rose petals, um, and I often make this in the summer with dried rose petals. But you can see we've been making rather a lot of it, so there's not much left. So I'm just gonna use these. They are a nice to have addition. They're not an essential. I wouldn't use shop-bought floristry roses because you don't know what they've been sprayed with and obviously we're gonna be eating it. So we can use this last little bit in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, hon, do you want to cut those? Yeah. So these are some almonds. So we're using whole almonds. If you wanna give those a chop. Yep. So we're using the whole almonds in their skins because then you get all the prebiotic fiber and you're getting lots of vitamin E and you get protein, so they're really nice uh, nice thing to add. And you get those online, much cheaper to buy them in bulk if you can. You can always you know, share the cost with a friend if you want to split it up, but if you can buy them by the kilo, 
um, then it's a much better way of doing it. So if you're making this at uni, for instance, which I will be, which you will be, then get your ingredients online, maybe share them with a friend. Yeah. Actually, what you could do is you could go into granola making Ooh. and then you could pass it on, couldn't you? You could pass it on, put it, you know, make them in bags for your other housemates. I could sell granola at uni. Yeah, I don't know whether you're allowed to do that, but certainly maybe <laughs> not at the moment. But yes, or you could, or you could give gift bags of granola. You can yeah. put it into little cellophane bags. It's a really nice present to give somebody. Because honestly, it is so delicious. Once you've mm -hmm. eaten this granola... You'll never you, go back. You will never go back. Oh my goodness, it's so good. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> okay, so let's add those nuts. Yeah, so I've got okay. in here, this is the oats. So we are going to add 75 grams of almonds. We're going to go add 50 grams of pecans and 70 grams of hazelnuts. Now, I don't like it too finely chopped. I don't know about you, but I quite like a nice big crunchy nut. Well, there you go. That's... So that's it. So let's pop those in there. Okay. So the almonds go in and then we've already chopped the hazelnuts. So that's all going in there as well. Are these chopped already? Yeah, that's no chopped. And they're, they're yeah, I think they're fine. I think they're fine. That's pecans. I mean, if you like your nuts finely chopped, then by all means, um, you know, do them more finely. Then we need a little bit of sweetness. So we need the dried fruit. So if you want to pass me that. So this is a mixture of raisins and dried cranberries. And again, it's not prescriptive. You don't have to use these. It's just the sharpness of mm. the dried cranberry. And really yummy. Is, and against the sweetness of the raisins is really good. So I think we've used, how much have we used of each of these? Mm. Uh, we have had 190 grams in total of raisins also, and cranberries. Also, when they cook, they go nicer. They do. Like they, they go more <laughs> like chewy. Yeah, they are, really they, nice. they are really chewy. And when <laughs> yeah. you put them in a bowl with you know, a splash of really nice um, icy cold milk mm. is just the best thing. Uh, so then we have, I'm just checking that doesn't go on at the end. No, it doesn't. So then we should add the rose petals. Mm -hmm. So let's just tip in those that we've got. Actually, what we could do is just tear these up a little bit. Oh yeah. Because they're quite big. So you just have the little, if you have um, roses in your garden and you want to dry them, then you just give them a good old shake, get rid of any little bugs that might be lurking, and then you can just dry them on a radiator or hang them up in a warm place or an airing cupboard or boiler cupboard to dry, and then you can just keep them, keep the petals, spread them out on a clean tea towel, let them dry, and then you can just pop them in a storage jar, and then you've got them to use for all sorts of things, but mainly for this granola. Yeah. Okay, so now the last final magic ingredient that just transforms this granola is the cacao nibs. Yeah. So we've got some here. Now, uh, we've unfortunately used most of our cacao nibs making <laughs> chocolate biscuits. <laughs> but we do have, we're supposed to have 50 grams. The great thing about cacao nibs is they are sugar-free. They've got lots of healthy minerals in them and they just sort of melt in the milk, mm. don't they? They just have that soft creaminess. So I'm going to add those in, and then why don't you chop a bit of this? So I found some really dark chocolate. This is the Sulcum Dairy chocolate. And it actually, it's 75%, so it's really dark. And it actually has cacao nibs in it. So if you look, they've actually used the cacao nibs in the chocolate. So I think if you chop mm. just a little bit of that, that will work. So you're almost just, you know, kind of like shredding it really, that's it. And then that will just give that chocolatey creaminess. And then the whole thing, once you put all the ingredients together, you then are going to combine them in this liquid, which is the mix of the coconut oil and the honey and the rose water. So you're gonna mix all that together. That's great. Yeah, it's taking a little while. <laughs> that's fine, that's fine. I will start mixing and pouring because you really want to get all this completely covered, so just add it a little bit at a time. And because the, it's slightly sticky, it makes them kind of turn to clumps. Nice. The oats and the, so you get actual clumps of granola, which is quite nice. Really good. I'm so pleased that you like this because it's, oh, it. it's such a nourishing mm. and you know, healthier way of getting a good bowl of goodness. Mm. I mean, yes, of course, it does have lots of carbs and got lots of natural sugars in here as well, but you are getting a decent amount of 
your minerals and your protein and your healthy fats in there as well. So I don't worry too much about it. And you're not having any of the refined seed oils or any of the added extras that you can get sometimes in commercial granolas. Mm. And your gut bugs will love it because there's just so much diversity of food going on here. So you're feeding your little friends. Yeah. What are you doing with that? That looks great. They mm, actually, yeah, yeah, they yeah. look very cocoa nibby. So let's, do you want to put those in and give those a good stir up? Brilliant. Why don't you stir all that together? Okay. I'll just get the baking tray. Look, how good does that look? Oh, yum. Okay, and then the next step of the journey mm -hmm. is to get a baking tray and you're just going to spread it out. So if you tip the bowl up and spread it out all evenly, then that's going to go into a hottish oven. It's around 180. Yeah, give it a good scrape. Don't want to miss any of the good bits that oh. got left behind. Would you ever put seeds in this? Like Absolutely you could, or... totally. Yeah, if you want to put sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, flax seeds, chia seeds, if you wanted to have chopped Brazil nuts, you mm. could do that. You know, this is just a guide. So it's, as I say, it's never prescriptive. If you have favorite things that you want to add or leave out, then no problem. Yes, yeah, so try and get it as thin as you can because the, the, thin, the, the thinner you spread it, the crispier you'll get the granola mm. uh, and the faster it will cook. So do keep an eye on it because what you really don't want, obviously, is for it to burn. You don't want it to catch. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And the recipe, let's just see what it calls for in terms of cooking <clears throat> time. It says about 30 minutes, but stirring it a few times as you do it. So maybe set the timer for every 10 minutes or so to check it. So I'm going to pop this in and then after 30 minutes or so, here is one we made earlier. Mm -hmm. So this is what it will turn out like. So you can it's see. It's kind of the end of it, so the oats are kind of the smaller. I think that back should get more. Yes, this has got smaller oats. But you can see how the nuts have all just sort of mm. toasted. Actually, I am so desperate to have some of this. Can you see, yeah. is there any milk in the fridge? Because I am going to... Would you like some? Yeah, I have a bit, can't we? I think we should. I think we should. The only problem I have with this... Is it too much milk? No, I think it's good. Okay. Oh, sorry. Great. I actually, I actually quite like the milk with it because the mm. milk, it just gets a really good flavour. And um, the only problem I have mm, mm. is that one bowl. Never enough. It's never enough. <laughs> anyway, try it. Hope you love mm. it. Let us know in the comments, okay? 